causes depression? The answer to that question will pretty much determine how you go about finding drugs to treat depression. So I'm going to tell you about a few of the most important ones here now. The most common one is called the monoamine theory. And the monoamine theory is simply that we have two little monoamines. And the most important ones here we're talking about are noradrenaline and serotonin. Now some of these things go by slightly different names. So in America they refer to this as norepinephrine and these are related to adrenaline. So there's the same thing, epinephrine and adrenaline are the same thing with just different names. Serotonin is also known as 5-HT3, 5-hydroxytryptamine, sorry, not 5-HT3, 5-hydroxytryptamine, getting carried away there. So 5-HT is serotonin. So what we've got is not enough of these neurotransmitters in the brain. So the monoamine theory then, you will then try to make drugs which increase these amounts. The next theory is that it's actually got something to do with the hypothalamo pituitary adrenal axis. So you might remember that the hypothalamus, so this is theory number two, controls the pituitary and the pituitary controls the adrenal glands through ACTH and this results in the release of cortisol and that usually negatively feedback net feeds back negatively each of these points. So in this theory we have got too much too much cortisol and that's causing, that's what's causing the depression. The third theory is the BDNF theory. So that's brain derived neural growth factor. And the idea is that in some parts of our brain we have neurons that are all connected up and BDNF BD, BDNF axon receptors here called TRKB receptors and that results in proliferation. So you make new neurons. We're not spelling very well today. Let's start again, shall we? Proliferation. Interestingly, cortisol inhibits this which might be why cortisol does bad things. So it relates these two theories together. So what happens in depression, according to this theory, this gets broken. And so we don't get the proliferation and that leads to depression. So then our drugs will somehow restore this
so that we get proliferation again. But there are other theories as well, just to mention some of them might involve um, GABA B receptors. Other theories suggest that it's got something to do with NMDA receptors and so on and so on.